the local mayor, we're, we're, I think Eddie was on, on board at the time. We even steered, prioritized some funding, transportation funding, to the on Highway 86. Uh, that was a matter of, of earmarks. So I'm also happy to say that we sent money to Cal State San Bernardino to the nursing school. So I've been very pleased to stand behind any, any earmark that I would have uh, asked for. I agree we need some sort of system to come back to us or as local elected representatives we can advocate for projects that are very important to our district. If we don't do it, some unaccountable bureaucrat is doing it. Doesn't make sense to me, but it has to be done right. And members of Congress need to be held accountable to the can never ever again be another bridge to nowhere that is funded by the Congress. So we have to do it right. Um, as John said, I'm very pleased. It's a huge honor to be the first woman to chair a uh, very, very prestigious and, and important committee, uh, the, the Commerce, Manufacturing, and Trade Subcommittee of the Energy Commerce Committee. We've held a number of hearings that are just related to business, to growing businesses. We're having a hearing coming up in a, a couple of weeks when we get back to Washington with the Secretary of Commerce to explore with him what we need to do to further and foster, especially the small business backbone of our economy. So we will do that. We're also having a hearing in the summer. I think something that's very important to us in Coachella Valley, we're going to have a hearing on tourism and what we can do to foster and to increase tourism. You know, one thing that we can see here locally, I'm happy to say the federal government has absolutely nothing to do with Coachella and stagecoach festivals, um, but they're great examples of how important tourism can be to our entire valley. So this is an example of uh, what we'll be exploring and what we need to do, what are the impediments we need to remove as far as tourism areas that we can participate or to help facilitate, for example, visas. There are a lot of backlogs uh, with processing the tourist visas, especially down in, in uh, Mexico and Latin America. So it's something that we can be involved in. The last thing, we're going to open the floor up to your questions, comments, thoughts, suggestions, or requests to see pictures of my grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thing I think the most important thing to all of us right now as small business people is the energy prices. Energy prices are huge problem for growing our economy, a huge problem for our small businesses, and it is something that we need to focus on. I'm going to continue to fight for the Keystone XL pipeline. There's no question that if we don't put the resources and the efforts today towards bringing future uh, energy online, you know, we're going to be exactly where we are today. The gas has more than doubled in price, gasoline, our uh, gas pump, more than doubled in the past four years. You know, the American people are feeling this. And I can say that the economic downturn in the 45th congressional district of California really started when energy prices skyrocketed long before the housing bubble burst. This is something that's critically important to us all. Part of our congressional district actually is there is a bedroom community. They have to commute long ways to get to work. This hurts them, and we need to address it. We need to address it now. So gas prices uh, and bringing energy online is critically important. I think. Part of the problem with the, the thrust and the focus of energy policy in the Congress over the past couple of years, the past three years, has been the attempt to try to shift the markets uh, superficially, superficially from uh, coal-based or fossil-based fuels to, towards future fuels. The government has tried to incentivize a move from fossil fuels to renewables probably before they were ready to do it. And in California, of course, we have the highest energy prices around the country, and I think we're especially feeling that pinch. So I think that we need sounder energy policies. We do need to do what we can do for all above the approach. We need to continue to foster renewable future, I mean, renewable, renewable energy, but we also need to uh, do what we can to bring more gasoline online. That would include, in my view, drilling in Anwar, and that would include, include in my view, uh, offshore drilling. So, with those, those are the first things that are in my mind, but I'd like to just hear from you, get your questions, comments, what's important to you, what you're thinking, uh, what you're hearing about. And I guess I shouldn't be too critical uh, at this event, so uh, questions on policy would be really welcome. And I'm happy to open the floor for anything else. Yes, Tom. Can I tell us a little bit about your drug initiative? <coughs> okay. Yeah. Well, have you Thank you. Did Mark just look through notes? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you. I'm glad. This is what I love. I don't bring up some obvious topics because I want to hear it's like my informal poll. You bring them up and I know they're resonating. Uh, I'm very focused on the prescription drug epidemic. The Center for Disease Control has now said it is a national epidemic. There are two areas in public health that we are losing. The 
about one is Alzheimer's and the other is a prescription drug epidemic. Uh, the statistics are staggering and overwhelming. Uh, more people now die from prescription drug overdose deaths than, than car accidents. So that is now overtaken. The statistics are overtaken as far as uh, it, unintentional injury death, as they call it. But if you just break it down, you can't, can't have a mortgage problem in our schools. Every single school in the congressional district has been hit by this. There was a story in the Desert Sun the other day about a bus that was in high school from somebody on campus trying to sell uh, drugs, including prescription pills. These are very powerful, very dangerous. Uh, my deep, you know, the, the, the reason I'm so focused on this is because the federal government is involved. We have an FDA that is supposed to ensure that our drug supply is safe and, and healthy. We have a DEA that is supposed to enforce the laws. Uh, and they're both failing right now in this regard. We've been able to, to change the focus, uh, to really move some of the focus from the illicit drug problem to prescription drugs. And I think we're starting to see um, significant movement, and I'm very happy to see that. Never before uh, have I been able to see really such a change of attention from agencies as I am on this. And so I'm happy to report that. But uh, the statistics are there. And, you know, we don't even want to talk about the loss of human life, but if you want to talk about the damage to the federal budget, in 2007, there was $148 million diverted out of Medicare and Medicaid 